Shivananda Sharma Memorial RV College Video Lecture and ISR Initiative. SSM RV College, one of the premier institutes run by the prestigious RV group of institutions, has come up with a unique initiative to engage students at the time of this unforeseen medical emergency caused by Corona outbreak. As a socially responsible institution, we would like to connect academically with students to make good the losses caused. In this connection, I, Pavana R. Kulkarni, Department of Business Administration, has posted a video on the subject, Business Research Methods and the topic, Tools for Collection of Data. Please watch the video till the end and like, share with your peer group and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you. Today, I am discussing the third unit. The unit heading is Tools for Collection of Data. The various four tools used in collection of research data are as follows. The first one is questionnaire design. Second one is attitude measurement technique. Third one is motivational research technique. The last one is selection of appropriate statistical techniques. But today I am going to deal with only the first technique that is questionnaire design. Questionnaire design. First, let us understand what is the meaning of questionnaire. Questionnaire is a list consisting of various questions. It is designed in order to collect the opinion of people on specific problem or any specific issue. The design of questionnaire. The meaning of questionnaire design is nothing but it is a plan or a blueprint or a document consisting of sequential steps. Those four steps should be involved mandatorily in questionnaire design in a sequential order. The first step is deciding the information to be collected. Second step is formulating the question. Third step is deciding on wording of question. Last step is pre-testing the question. Step 1 is deciding the information to be collected. The researcher should have clarity about the information which he is going to collect from his respondent. And he should test preliminarily some questionnaire. The various preliminary questionnaire should be tested prior. And he has to collect maximum information with minimum question. And he has to avoid ambiguous words in the question. Moving on to the second step, formulating the question. The question should be formed by following any particular format. There are various formats available like in which form the questions can be asked. Open-ended question means the questions which enable the researcher to answer from his point of view. Closed questions are the questions which are asked to respond then by giving some choices. Like he can answer any one among the various alternatives. MCQs also of similar nature means single question will be having various multiple answers. The researcher has to select any particular answer. Checklist questions in this, if the researcher wants um, majority of answers that means multiple answers are expected for single questions then we can go for checklist question format. Ranking questions in this the respondents are allowed to answer according to their preference. The questions bearing much importance will be ranked one and accordingly they will be ranked. Double barreled questions should be avoided by the researcher. Double barreled questions means the questions consisting of a single answer. Two questions consisting of single answers will be clubbed and asked to the respondent. Such questions should be avoided. Memory related questions. If the questions are asked about the past, then the researcher cannot ex expect the exact answer. Such questions should be avoided. Moving on to the third step. Deciding on the wordings used in the questions and the layout of the questionnaire. First, we will discuss about the wordings. The wordings used in questions should be simple, 
clear and should not be double barreled which means they should not create any ambiguity in the minds of respondents and it should be common to all and they must be the questions must be as simple as possible as well as they should be short should not cross social ethics of the respondent layout of the questionnaire means the format of the questionnaire the format of questionnaire should be uh, like ha should have three parts first part is the introduction part the next part is the questions part the last one is the ending part in the introduction part some information about the researcher and the topic of research the purpose of research should be included next the, the question should be framed according to the order of preference that means simple questions should be asked in the beginning the complex the complicated question should be asked at the end and every format of questionnaire should have an end expression of sincere thanks moving on to the fourth step pre testing the questionnaire before circulating the questionnaire to the respondent the researcher has to test by distributing the same questionnaire to the limited number of people around 10 to 15 there are various types of pre testing available for the researcher he can adopt any one depending upon his need the first one is research research pre testing it is conducted in initial stage to make to take any suggestions it the research pre testing is done in the initial stage in this if there are any suggestions provided by the respondent such suggestions will be added in the questionnaire participant pre testing is done in this the questionnaire will be distributed to the respondent like they act as the uh, acting participant that means participants will be selected based on their mentality and the questionnaire will be distributed to them later their opinion will be taken collaborative pre testing in this the researcher will inform the respondent about the pre testing without information if the researcher asks them to participate such type of testing pre testing is called as non collaborative pre testing thanks for watching video please like share and subscribe thank you